Hey everyone, Dominic here from the Batavia Fine Arts Center uh, coming to you just to show you what the inside of this place looks like. I know so many of you haven't been able to be in here either performing or in the seats to, to view a show, but we thought we'd show you a little bit about what is going on in this place um, that you love so dearly. We were actually planning this summer in July and August to shut down for a little bit and do some uh, some repairs and some upgrades that are needed and so since we're going through what we're going through now We are doing those a little bit early um, And I think you'll be excited about some of the things you see the first thing is you'll notice that this stage floor is a little bit different in fact we have pulled up the top layer of masonite that was on it the black layer that you normally see or any specific show color it might have been painted at that time and uh, we are in the process of getting a new one laid so all the pieces of masonite are out at a shop right now being painted and holes pre-drilled into them so that they're ready to do it on site but this was all ripped out in the matter of one day one day ripped this all out I'm going to talk about this little area that you see here it looks a little bit different you'll notice that we see that there's no plywood down in this section and all we see is the vapor barrier. Well, um, that's because um, from this section upstage to our pit lift area, we have been experiencing some sinking going on. And the, um, the wood was sinking slowly over time over the past 10 years. And it came to a point where it was a significant uh, incline difference. So we, um, it's not an upstage, downstage type of difference you want in a theater. So this entire section is being re-leveled for us so that our stage floor will be perfectly beautiful and level. Uh, some of the interesting things that you can see while this part of the stage floor is out that you don't normally get to see, you can see how it is put together. So you've got the, the cement is under this section and then there's the, um, the, these, uh, these little foam pieces here that give it a little bit of uh, reverb, uh, a little bit of a cushion to the actual stage floor. There are these little square, I'm looking right now to see if there's any out, and I don't see any out, uh, little square pieces that give a little cushion to our floor. Then there's the two by, the, the vapor barriers, followed by the two by four, two layers of plywood, and then on top of that is where the masonite goes. We were able to spare all of the plywood in all of the other areas, um, except this area for the re-leveling. You can see what the pit plugs for the trapdoors look like. Uh, pretty neat to see these two squares here. Uh, if you didn't know we had two trapdoors, now you know we've got two trapdoors. Um, so that's kind of what the stage floor is going through right now. We're going to walk backstage right over here to our fly rail, where we will also be going through some, a series of inspections. Uh, at any theater should go through a fly inspection uh, every every you know frequently and so our fly inspection is going to be happening very shortly here and the flies for those of you who don't know what they do they control all those ropes over there it's a counterweight system which controls everything that is overhead so if you can see up above our head we've got lights up there curtains up there sometimes things that we don't even always have here we install different curtains and things from these pipes called battens. And then on this side, stage right, that's where we put weight down. And we'll get a little closer to it. So you can see the, uh, the size of the weights that go down. And this is the counterweight system, which allows a human being to be able to manually pull on the ropes. So this much weight on the arbor over here means that there's that much weight on the batten over there. Um, and, and that's what allows a person to be able to unlock the brake, take the safety off, and pull that line in and out. So we're getting that uh, all tested, uh, this, this, um, this little hiatus, this intermission that we're in. We're going to go back out over here, and I'm going to end by showing you um, what we're doing out here for our projection system. So if you look right over my head, you'll see a, a bump out box. That is where our projector is currently. And over time, you know, in theater nowadays, everything is 
technology. Everything's basically its own computer. And as you get other computers that are more modern and they need to hook up to older systems and, and that kind of thing, it makes it really difficult to connect new technologies to old technologies. Uh, so we are in the process of getting a new projector installed. It'll actually hang just below that bump out box there. Um, we have a cooling system coming in for that, which our current one does not have. The cooling system will take the noise and the heat of cooling that out of this space where the audience is and put it into the booth itself. So that's a really nice audio upgrade for you to keep the, the sound level of the other noises in the theater down to a minimum when that projector is in use. So that's just a little bit about what we're doing here. We do so miss you being a part of all the things we do here though, and we can't wait until this intermission is over and we can be back together again. And look for some more videos, we're gonna post more. Um, next one we're gonna do is gonna be an educational video for some young people so we can learn stage directions and that kind of thing so you can show your young kids those, those videos as well. Um, anything uh, you want to know, put it in the comments and we will go ahead and answer your questions. Thanks so much and we'll see you after intermission.